largest sub $100 capacitor I could find. Uh, it ended up costing 36 UF, 36 dollars US. It's a uh, markdown from about 50. Uh, it's about 60 dollars Australian to land it here, and um, turns out it's uh, it's a fake. Unfortunately, um, I really needed one, so here it is here. Three Farad or about three million UF. Uh, specifications are exactly what I needed. Maxed out at about 20 volts and very high power. So the problem is it's um, it's 170 thousand UF, not three million UF. So I went on. YouTube and I found out why a lot of people's uh, had the same experience and they're packed with concrete slabs so I'm in the midst of uh, uploading my evidence uh, which was sadly required for whatever reason by the seller um, and that evidence just happened to include a, a seeming necessity to cut the thing open with an angle grinder because it's so well sealed uh, so here we are Please enjoy the experience of my pain, suffering, and inhalation of uh, toxic substances. So, uh, yeah, don't make the same mistake yourself. All right, let's continue with the teardown. Thank you very much. Just going to run a quick capacity test on this AliExpress audio capacitor. Here's the meter, QM1572. Now, just to test the accuracy and verify the meter, this is a 270 UF. Just excuse the extra fingers. Okay. That's coming up under 230. So. That one's put away the 270. We have here a 390. Put this one up. And that's the 390. And as usual, that one's coming up under as well. Have here a 560. As usual, that's coming up under as well. As you can see, capacitors are usually never meet specification. The problem is with this very large one, it's um, takes a while to charge because it's a little bit bigger. But there we go. So it's. Um, not, it's not half a specification as you might expect 17 instead of 3000 it's missing a zero so it's actually 20 times less than specification which is not acceptable um, okay if you need more evidence I'm going to uh, take it apart and cut it open um, but that's probably not recommended um, anyway it's far too heavy and I expect there's a concrete slab in there um, but I'll do that if necessary. Thank you. Okay, videos on the cold fusion plasma reactor are coming up. So this one won't be a free energy video, boys and girls. You have to tune in for the next one. Today, running a quick demo. I've got a um, capacitor here, which I noticed is woefully inefficient. Um, in fact, it's um, no better than this one here. 5500 UF, and it's uh, quite a lot larger. 250 watt transformers feeding this car audio amp and I need more capacitance so um, 60 Australian dollars uh, for this including shipping 3 farads or 3 million UF it is uh, simply not up to the job it does not meet specification and I have a suspicion um, that there's uh, a bit of foul play going on here it's a little bit on the fake side uh, it does work as a capacitor um, I have tested it um, 
it does not test as 3 million UF. It tests as 170,000 UF, which although is substantial, it is simply not substantial enough for my requirements. So I'm going to take a few minutes to pull this thing down and, uh, and see if it has the same problem as the uh, other AliExpress capacitor um, I've seen on YouTube. In fact, I've seen a few of these videos. I should have gone looking before I bought the thing, uh, but I didn't. I went looking after I bought it. Um, and as a result, uh, I was unaware that there was a scan going on. I can't say for sure whether this particular unit is part of that particular scam, but it is fraudulent in nature. It does not meet specifications, it is at least 18 times under spec. Uh, the voltmeter on top works, which is not surprising. For all outward appearances, it does what it's supposed to do. However, it does it very poorly and when capacity tested uh, it simply shows up as being fake unfortunately so now you're going to find out what's in here is it like other youtubers does it simply contain a block of cement and a small capacitor now well, we shall see so what i'm going to do now is uh put my glasses on and cut this open. Um, okay. <laughs> this won't take but a moment. Let's see. apologize for the noise but ah as you can see it's hollow there is nothing resembling a capacitor in there it is the same as the fake ones completely fake um, yep as I suspected it is a block of cement and a very tiny capacitor inside well I paid good money for this, um, as did I'm sure a lot of other people who were using them uh, and having a very poor experience as a result of that. So just a small further examination. This appears to be siliconed in, as is the other ones I've seen. Um, it is a block of cement that cannot be dislodged by shaking it. Um, it's very evenly weighted, so you can't really tell by feeling it. It just feels like it's too heavy. Um, but the only way you can expose this as being fraudulent in any way is to cut it open. Um, this is obviously designed for sale on the internet um, to avoid people easily exposing the scam. Mm, so be it. I think I'll be looking for a refund on this one, as should you. Have a good day. Hope you have better luck than I do. Bye-bye.